Hello everyone, in the today's video I will show you how we can listen to lifecycle events using Jetpack on Pulse. So let's jump into Android Studio and let's see how we can do that. Now let's go into the livesversions.toml and make sure that you have this dependency Android X, Lifecycle Runtime Compose Android and you will find it in the description and this is the version I'm currently using. So you also need to add this in the build.gradle and here it is. And now let's get back to the main activity and let's see how we can listen to the lifecycle. We have three methods. So the lifecycle owner can expose a state flow. So we can convert that to a state. So let's say well, lifecycle owner is equal to local lifecycle owner dot current. Now let's say state flow is equal to lifecycle owner dot lifecycle dot current state flow and now we can get the state so let's say well current lifecycle state is equal to or let's use by to not say dot value every time state flow dot collect as state before continuing, I need to tell you that my goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you find my videos helpful, please hit the subscribe button, it doesn't take more than 3 seconds. So, enough with this and let's get back to the video. So the first method is to run code for specific lifecycle event, so let's say lifecycle event effect, now let's say lifecycle dot event and let's say, for example, in the on create and you run some code to run for another event you simply need to pass the events here so on destroy for example the second method is to use the lifecycle start event and this gets triggered when the all start gets called and let's say lifecycle dot effect and this has a key so you can trigger it by using the key but let's put true and when the on stop gets called the lifecycle start effect uses the on stop or dispose and here you can clean up the code so if you are initiating here something you can clean it up here we have one more lifecycle effect that is like this so we can use the lifecycle resume effect and we can press the key and this gets called when or resume gets called and like the previous function we can clean up the code using the on pause or dispose and this gets called when on pause or dispose is triggered and the last method we can listen to the lifecycle is by using a disposable effect as the lifecycle owner as a key and let's also open the on dispose block and this is for the cleanup and here we need to add an observer so let's say observer is equal to lifecycle observer now let's get the event so let's say event and let's open the one block and let's add the remaining branches and here you can implement any action for a specific lifecycle event and let's make the lifecycle owner listen to this observer so lifecycle owner lifecycle add observer and put the observer here and in the on dispose we need to clean up the code so let's say lifecycle owner lifecycle remove observer and pass the observer here and that's it and as you can see it's very simple to listen to lifecycle events in jetpack compose and if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next video